I formation, second down eight. We're in overtime, tied at 20. Blitz is coming up the middle. Far back in the pocket, has time, goes near sideline, it's picked off! And the 60,000 plus in this stadium are stunned. I am officially retiring from the NFL and Green Bay Packers. I've given everything I possibly can give to this organization, to the game of football. And I don't think I got anything left, left to give, and that's it. We have found a question that is actually more annoying than whether Brett Favre will retire, <laughs> and that's whether he will return. You have retired, you have not retired. I have retired. You have retired. No, somebody watch TV a lot, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It's tempting because when I, I still know I can play. Right. I still know, uh, for the most part, people want me to play. How I will feel in August or September, that will be the true test. On the verge of our latest celebration of our Declaration of Independence, Aaron Rodgers must wonder if he'll ever be independent of Brett Favre on the day Rodgers defended himself on the subject of lecturing the fans of Green Bay to keep shut on the subject of Favre, a report that Favre has told the Packers he may want to return. We care very much about the legacy of, of Brett Favre and the legacy of the Green Bay Packers. You're now 100% certain you want to play football. Where? is a different story, yes. We all wanted him back. Uh, he had such a great year last year and uh, was so positive, but, uh, you know, I mean, he obviously made a heartfelt decision and we moved on from there and three, four months later, a lot has happened and, and you know, it's hard to undo that. Aaron Rodgers is the starting quarterback for the Green Bay Packers. Well, you know, he would love to go back to Green Bay, but, you know, right now it looks like he'll be the quarterback at Oak Grove High School. It appears Brett Favre is coming back for a 17th season. Commissioner Roger Goodell will reinstate Favre effective at noon central time Monday. In March, you know, it looked like uh, that I was going to be the guy all the way through, and now uh, Brett's coming back, and I'm still the guy. Until that changes, that's my focus, and uh, if they do open up the competition, I'm going to do my best and, and let Coach decide. The Packers are scheduled to practice at 2 o'clock this afternoon. There is a feeling that Brett Favre will or will not be there. We love we love he was told before he went into Green Bay it would be an open competition. I'm told that he was told again last night during the team meeting that it would be an open competition 50-50. It could go either way. Now, there have been reports elsewhere saying that it is Aaron Rodgers' job. Again, every side has a different stance on what they've been told and what they hear and what they believe. The football team has moved forward, okay? The train has left the station, whatever analogy you want. You know, he needs to jump on the train and let's go. Or if we can't get past all the things that happened, then I mean, I, 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 I have to keep the train moving. And he, he respects that. He understands that. Bottom line in all of this is playing football. And I've always been committed to, to my job. And um, I don't, I, and I know people say you need to put the personal issues aside. And, um, and, I, and I agree, but I couldn't do that. So now the big question is, where will Favre end up? His agent, Buss Cook, maintains that Favre wanted to remain in Green Bay. It's the worst. I mean, uh, you know, uh, you know, all Brett wanted to do was go play for the Packers and be their quarterback, and they just adamantly did not want him. You know, that's just, uh, they uh, uh, watched the press conference yesterday, and they showed Aaron Rodgers, and he said uh, right in March, you know, within, I guess, a couple of weeks or a week or so after Brett had retired, they gave him the job so I mean they were pretty you know pretty set that's where they were going. Adam what's the latest uh, with Brett Favre going to Tampa Bay? Well friend there was not exactly a flurry of phone calls between the three teams on Wednesday nor was there much activity in terms of a trade. I think right now Green Bay is sitting back and being very deliberate and trying to figure out what the Packers want to do and how they want to best resolve this Brett Favre situation. There was no bidding war between the teams on Wednesday. There was not this flurry of telephone calls. I think the Packers are sitting back and trying to decide right now what is the best course of action for the Green Bay Packers to take moving forward to resolve the Brett Favre situation that has been unresolved as long as it has. Right, fill us in on the activity from the New York Jets perspective. I think that there are people in the Favre family, family and friends right now, 
who are clearly pushing the New York Jets on him, trying to sell him on the idea of coming to play in New York. I think that idea has picked up some momentum clearly. I think the Jets have done a tremendous job of trying to sell Brett Favre on the appeal of playing in New York. Remember, he would not be living in New York City. The Jets are moving their complex to New Jersey September 1st. He would get to live in New Jersey on some piece of farmland or something far away from New York City. It could be a situation behind four number one draft picks on the offensive line that could work out very well for Brett Favre. But again, it's up to the Jets to convince Brett Favre that he would come to New York and be somebody that the Jets could really rally around because Green Bay ideally if given a choice, would rather send Brett Favre to New York than Tampa. In your estimation, what happens next? Well, I think that the Packers continue to make telephone calls, and really, they make the final decision here. I think that they would rather send Brett Favre to the AFC out of their conference. I think Brett Favre's clear preference would be to go to Tampa Bay. So again, the Packers and Brett Favre, believe it or not, Fran, have another disagreement. They can't disagree on, they can't agree on where he would like to go. And until that issue is resolved, this, can, this whole issue will continue to remain unresolved. This is an unprecedented situation, at least in my opinion. Uh, I was in Oakland when we got Jerry Rice, and that was similar to this from the standpoint that, you know what, he's probably the best receiver to ever play. Mm -hmm. He switched zip codes. He didn't change houses. He just changed <laughs> colors. And I used to spend more time talking about how Jerry feels in a silver hat. And, and, and really, after a while, out of respect to the situation, I just say, you know, you have to ask Jerry, okay? And, and in this situation, you're talking about a guy that is well-documented. He's uh, been well well covered and I, I don't want to get involved in this publicly because I don't have all the information. There's speculation on every team all the time and no I, I try to deal with reality and facts and right now I don't have uh, all the facts I don't have half of the, the reports or information that have been available and, and people are trying the best to get the story if I had information I would be forthcoming and I will let you know but uh, um, all I can say right now is is I said what I said, and I meant what I said. Jeff Garcia leads the uh, current five QBs on Tampa's roster. The rookie Josh Johnson, of course, no starts. The Buccaneers' five quarterbacks combining for fewer career starts than Favre has alone. The Buccaneers' quarterbacks combined have 102 wins versus 103 losses. How are they dealing with all this talk about Favre joining them? We can't worry about anything that might happen. We've got to worry about what's going on right now. If you worry about what, something outside that could happen or might happen, um, you know, that, that's going to create division. That's going to create distraction, and we don't want that. You know, watching that stuff yesterday, it's, you talk about hypotheticals, and nobody wants to deal with hypotheticals, and we're not going to do it. And, and I know that our team probably is not going to do it, and so we just come out to work every day. You know, I'm still going to say I'm just going out and working and, and uh, just continue to get myself better. Better, and you know we'll see what happens I can't control any of this uh, I'm just as interested to see what happens as you guys are uh, so you know we'll see what the the circus brings us we talked about last night the players want they want resolution they they want what everybody wants it's it's uh, to come out here every day and talk about somebody that's you know not here and then, then shows up and it's 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 gone on too long so that and understandably so they, they, they want to play football they want to be recognized for playing football and, and and focus on that after McCarthy was done speaking it was the regular open locker room session with the players here at Lambeau Field and one of the most approachable nice guys in the locker room Donald Driver says enough's enough with the Brett Favre questions I'm tired of talking about it it's over it's over it's over Thank y'all very much. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. No, it's all fine, man. I love y'all anyway. It's just, it's just got to get to a point where we all got to stop talking about it. Then it'll, it'll just draw out and just go away. What will be the strangest situation for you in terms of Brett Favre in a uniform other than that of the Green Bay Packers? I, I think that it's going to be, it goes back to what we talked about earlier, if, if Brett somehow ends up being a Jet, I just have a feeling that, I mean, the world, I mean, if people thought they were tired of hearing about Brett Favre now, if he becomes a Jet, becomes a starting quarterback in New York City, Marshall, it's just going to be, But even I think, if they're not good? I, I think if he's, if he's, in, if if he's in the NFC and, and the Packers end up playing well and, and they, they host a, a, 
a, a playoff game and Brett's that playoff game. I mean, him going back in Lambeau to play against the Packers in the playoffs, and you know how magnified the playoffs are. That, that could be a, a crazy scenario. I think however it works out, it's going to be a rough year for Aaron Rodgers uh, unless he plays well, exceptionally well. If you win, well. no, if you, if, if you win wins, right. regardless. No, but if, if you win and you're, and you're showing signs of being the guy, then it's going to be okay. I am officially retiring from the NFL. And Green Bay Packers. So I'm guilty of one thing, that's retiring early. Believe me, I've questioned my decision. You're now 100% certain you want to play football? Yes. Something told me this time not to come back. I think I'm ready. There's nothing left to prove. It really isn't. I have not signed any official papers. I know I can play, but I don't think I want to. You know, Mike, I'm thinking about coming back. I will wonder if I made the wrong decision. I was told that playing in Green Bay was not an option. <laughs> And as they say, all good things must come, come to an end.